well good morning everyone team let's start the session for today meanwhile others can join so team from tomorrow i request everyone please join on time because we will be having the sessions every day between 7 to 8 so there will be no delay from tomorrow so i request everyone please join the sessions on time so that we can able to complete the session by 8 o'clock okay so let me start the session and also some of the participants uh, preferring to go through the recording that being uploaded by nine o'clock. But if you have a chance to attend the session in the morning, try to attend the session every day. So rather following through the class recordings, if you attend the session every day, then your consistency will be there when you're learning something team. Okay, so I request everyone these two points to keep in mind. One thing, try to please attend the session sharp by 7 a.m. And then try to attend regularly rather than following the recordings that will be there for your reference purpose. Okay. But try to attend the sessions because I can see participants who enrolled also yesterday and today I could see some of them, uh, I mean, texting that upload the video, upload the video. That is not a approach to follow. Try to attend the live sessions to make the best benefit of it. Okay. So anyhow, let me start team. Meanwhile, others can join parallelly. So in the yesterday session, day one and day two, we had the introductory, introductory topics on this Oracle Fusion HCM cloud applications team. As part of that, we have seen what is this Oracle Fusion application is about and what is its evaluation overview and then uh, fusion environment releases we spoke about then what are the modules we have career opportunities we have we have seen and in yesterday's class i explained you oracle knowledge repository how to access oracle documents in the net uh, uh, internet that i have shown you and also i spoke about oracle certification process like if you want to do certification in oracle what is the approach? What is the cost incurring to you in order to do the certification? That all we have seen team. Okay. And then I also introduced it to you yesterday for the application as well. Like what are the different names that we will be calling the fusion application and customer to customer when Oracle selling their product, how that four characters pod number will be differentiated. Okay. That all I have explained you yesterday, team. What is pod number in the URL? How that will be deferred? Okay. And then we also had the introduction to the application yesterday, team. I log in into the system and I have navigated to the main home screen functionalities, springboard, navigator, and uh, what are the different functional areas we have, sub-functional areas we have, right? These all things, the basic intro about the application we have seen team. Now today, as I mentioned yesterday team, from today, we are going to start with our regular classes team. I mean, we are going to enter into our actual training. So the very first concept that I'm going to start today as part of our training will be team, the concept of security administration we have a module in place called security administration team okay actually in every implementation that we are going to do that in the coming future in whatever the projects that you are going to work in the company usually team on the functional side will start with the core hr or the global hr module team but even prior to that everyone should have a thorough understanding about the concept of this security administration in the fusion system. So this is the first and the foremost thing that every consultant or every person who learning this technology should be aware of team. Why? I will tell you. So we will also start with this concept team. The very first concept as part of our training that we are going to start will be the concept of security administration. Security administration. 
So what is this security administration module is about in Fusion application team? Why this is important to learn in the initial time only, like before we starting our modules, like core HR, absence, payroll, talent, before we starting these modules, why first we should be knowing about the concept of security administration team? Why means in security administration, we will be talking about two concepts team. In fusion application, when it comes to security, we have two concepts in this. One is, one is user account management in the system. And the other one is team role management in the system. These are the two concepts that we have in the fusion application in the concept of security administration team. What is that? What is that? User account management and role management in the system. So these are the two concepts that we will be talking in security administration area or security module team. What is that? See now, in order to access Fusion application team, I told you, you can pass your URL in any of the browsers I told you, then it will prompt to sign in Oracle application cloud. So in order to access the Fusion application team, I have my user account, see, user ID and password system asking me. If I put my user ID and password, and if I click on sign in, then I could able to enter into the application. Right or wrong team? If I put my user ID and password, then I could able to enter into the Fusion system. So how the user accounts will be created? How this user accounts will be created? how the access to the applications will be created. This is the very first part that we should learn in this technology. Why? Because team, I will tell you, let's assume team, we are implementing the project. We'll take one example. Let's assume we are working in IT company. Let's say uh, we are working in Deloitte team or TCS, any company you take. Let's say we are working in Deloitte, uh, 10 resources. 10 resources means 10 consultants, let's assume, or 10 employees or 10 people deployed for the project team. So let's assume you one among these 10 people. Currently, you're working in Deloitte, let's say, which is an IT company on this Oracle HCM cloud application. Now team, Deloitte got the project from, let's say, Reliance Industries team or Tata Group, whoever it is you can take, let's say Tata Group is there, Tata Group, okay. So Tata bought the application from Oracle team because Tata want to use in their HR operations, this Oracle Fusion HCM cloud technology. Now team, Tata purchased the product from Oracle and Tata given the project to Deloitte. Okay, now we are working in Deloitte. So we are 10 resources team, considering functional, technical all together. We are 10 people deploying for this project team. Okay. I, I'm telling you from very fundamentals, from very basics team, right? You are working in Deloitte. Your company got the project that is from Tata. Now, these 10 people going to work on the implementation of Tata Group's application team. According to their requirement, we have to configure their application. All these modules we have to implement for our that for our client tata group okay that is our work now team in order to do that implementation the configurations of all the module everything all of our 10 members should be required access for the application right or wrong in order to access the application every person should have his user account right so all of our 10 members should have our user accounts created. Who will create that? Huh? For that matter, team, I'm covering this topic initially. So first of all, you should be aware of user account creation in the system. How in the Fusion application, user accounts will be created. How the access concept is working in the system. 
that is why knowing about security or security administration preliminarily is very important for every one team so now now we are going to work on the project now in order to do that all of us should require access to the client application means all of us should have application user accounts every everyone should have their user account right so we will be calling them them as i mean we will be calling as implementation partner team i mean deloitte is the implementation partner for tata group we will be called as consultants or implementation consultants anything we can be calling it as we are implementation consultants team so our team should require access to the system how it will work means client side it team people will be handling the project activities team like tata group when they purchased the application from oracle their internal it team will be handling all this like purchasing the product from oracle then choosing the right implementation partner giving the project and all it team people will be handling in the company in the client company so client tata is the client and we are working now in this software company so client will be creating the user account sometime for all of our team members client side it team people will be creating the user accounts for every one of us and they will give us the access team or else what they will do sometime they will create one user account let's say we as a 10 members for us there will be project manager or team lead for that person they will create one account with all the access team and they will ask us by using that account for remaining people you create the user accounts and start working in the system so it's a kind of two and through understanding between we and the client sometimes they only create and they will give the access but sometime they will create one account for our project manager or for our team lead for remaining people by using that account we have to create the user accounts team but whatever it is the first and the foremost thing to start the implementation in the system we all should get access to the application of the client so we should be knowing about how to create the user accounts in the fusion application this is from the point of for us for 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 we in implementation consultant but when it comes to user account part team we should also see from the employees point of view also let's say team we implemented all the modules okay core hr absence payroll talent all these modules we implemented to the client now client started using the system team so whenever they hiring the employees when hr hiring the employees in the system for every employee application access you have to provide right because this is a hr portal hr application every employee in their day to day life in the organization they should access the application they should able to apply the leave in the system they should able to check their pay slip they have to check their uh, employment information contact details whatever it is every employee in your client organization require access to the application so team when we talking about user account management in the security administration concept team we should be knowing about two ways one is for employees in the client organization once we start implemented and we hand over the system to the client now tata group started using this application in their day to day hr activities when they hiring the employees for every employee how user account will be created at the same time before the implementation in order to start the implementation of the project how our implementation team will be having access because team we are not the client employees we are implementation partner we are not the employees in the client organization team but still all of us should require access to the application to start working on the system so in this context of user account management team we will be seeing how in the fusion application user accounts will be created five star marked interview question 
five star marked interview question can you tell me what are the different ways that we can create user accounts in the system this is the exact question it will come in the interview can you tell me what are the different ways we have in the system to create the user accounts okay there are two ways there are two ways so entire security administration we have two concepts team one is user account management and the other is role management team in user account management we are going to see how in the fusion application user accounts will be created there are two ways one is one is automatically automatically system generating user accounts team we have two ways in the fusion application what are they one is automatically system generating and another one is manual way of creating so automatic and manual two options are there team automatic means that will not for our users because team when we go for an implementation project we will not be hired in the client application because we are not their employees team we are the implementation partners we are there to configure the system and leave when it comes to their employees team when it comes to their employees team whenever hiring of employees happening in the system whenever hiring of employees happening in the system basically team uh, once we hand over the system to the client once they started using the system team in core hr module the employee hiring will happen so this is the place i will just navigate team so hr will go to this functional area team my client group and hr will go to this sub functional area that is new new person okay so here there will be hire an employee task if they go to hire an employee team here they can perform the hiring transaction so whenever hr hiring the employee in the system once the hiring transaction completes automatically system will take care of user account creation for the employees in the client organization team whenever hiring happening automatically automatically system will create the user account for the employees no need of manually hr creating them team automatically system will create this is the standard behavior in the system but this comes later means first of all we have to implement all the things in the system right then only we can give the application for the client to use but what about we we when we go for the project team how we can access the client application as i told sometime clients only will create and they will give the access or if not they will create one user account for our project manager and they will ask us to create the accounts for us to offers whatever the way team even if they are creating the user accounts for us how they will create manually we can create team other than employees in the system for us we require just user accounts team no employee record associated to us we are not employees in the client organization team we require just user accounts for us so team other than employees if you want to create there is a manual way to generate the user account so now i am going to start with this concept team how to create the user accounts manually in the system when we go for the project first time the first activity that we will be taking part is this one only creating the user accounts for all of our team members once this is done once we implement all the modules in the core hr module when client hiring their employees in the system for them employees automatically system will generate team but for us there is a manual way of creating sometimes whenever hiring happens team due to some data discrepancy that the data if client has not given properly for the employee while hiring due to some technical issues team in the hiring time 
employees might not be generated with user accounts automatically. There will be chances due to some data discrepancies team, like the user rule is not getting satisfied. Then sometimes the user account will not be generated automatically. In that case also, as a workaround, HRs will have manual way of creating. So first of all, today I'm going to show you how in the fusion system manually we can create the user accounts and then in core hr module whenever we hiring the employee i will talk about this automatic option practically we will see this during that time for employees how system creating user account but now our primary focus will be how to create user accounts manually and for our implementation team for us when how to create the user accounts now team client given us one account for our project manager okay with all the access team by using that we will try to create the more user accounts for the team members how team now i logged in with that user account which client provided to me in order to configure in order to work on security team in fusion system we have to go to this functional area. Yesterday, I introduced to you this springboard, right? Every section that you are seeing here, we will call them as functional area. My client groups is one functional area. Procurement is one functional area. Help desk is one functional area. Okay. Under each functional area, we have again sub options. My client groups, when I select team, I'm getting sub options. Then me, if I select team, I'm getting again sub options under that. These are called as sub functional areas. This is functional area and these we will call as sub functional areas. So keep these two uh, terminologies also in mind. In the springboard, whatever the sections we are seeing, we will call them as functional areas and sub-functional areas. Okay. So team, in order to work on the concept of security in the fusion system, okay, we have to come to the application, click towards this right arrow, click towards this right arrow. Okay. Here team, we have a functional area called tools. Tools. Go to tools. Under this tools functional area, we have a sub-functional area called security console. In Fusion application, the entire security will be working on this area only team. Sec Can I know who is the person? Avadesh Kumar. Avadesh, can you please stop annotating, please? Because there is a... Uh, li there are lines coming up on the screen. I request, please don't touch any icons in the Zoom bar that you are seeing, team, because it's it disturbs the other participants in the class and even the flow. E again, I'm telling you, Ad Advisesh Kumar, please don't annotate anything on the screen. Thanks. Okay. <clears throat> in the entire Fusion application team, the concept of security administration and creating of user accounts will be handled in a one single area called security con console team. What is that? Security console. So come to the system and come to the tools functional area. Under tools, we have security console. If anyone have prior to this EBS background, in EBS, we used to handle the user accounts part, everything in a Oracle identity management, right? But here there is nothing, a separate system. Within the Fusion application only, in this security console, we can able to handle that team. So go to security console and here team, here team, on the left hand side, you have a couple of options coming up. Roles, users, analytics, many things. Here team, we have to go to users. Click on users. And the section you will see about that user accounts. So if you want to create new user account for anyone in the system, we have to come to users and then team, we have something called 
add user account click on add user account and then you will land up on this page team add user account so here we are going to create the user accounts in the system so when we got access to the application team by using the login that what client provided to us we have to login into the system for remaining all of our team members we have to create the user accounts team we have to come to users add user account and we have to create here once it is done every one of us will have the account in the system we can able to access the system and we can start working on our modules team okay so how to create team once after coming to the add user account see when you creating user account in the system associated person information associated person type we have two options team none and worker so system asking me now kumar you are creating the user account for any worker in the system means already if employee hired in the system but i told you right during some times due to some data issues or something user accounts might not be automatically created for them whenever hr hire the employees in the system for that people if hr want to manually create see again i am telling please uh, avadesh kumar i uh, please request please stop annotating on the screen okay so sorry for that team there is a <clears throat> sorry for that so associated person information so whenever you are creating a user account team system will ask you the person type to choose here whether you are creating a user account for any existing employee in the system or just user account see associated person type none if i keep team i am creating a user account just user account in the system nowhere it is linked to any employee so team whenever the user accounts for our implementation team we are creating we are not employees in the clients organization so just user accounts for all of us we have to create and we have to use in the system team but for employees if any existing employee in the system who is already hired but they they don't have user account if hr have to create manually they will do like this they will come to add user account and in the person type they will choose worker then one more field will come worker name so here hr can search team in the system whoever the employees with uh, a, without having any user account let's say i am searching with name some john as it is a demo instance team training environment some data is already available that is why i could able to see the employees information here see so i can select and i can click on okay let's say for this john anderson i want to create an account the details will copy from his employee details team first name last name email username and all okay this is for any employee in the system you want to create the user account but now i am creating user account for our implementation team we are not the employees in the system but we require application access i am sorry to say this adusesh i am just keeping you on uh, waiting room because the screen is getting some screens displaying here this is second team avadesh can you please speak hello avadesh kumar the person name can you please unmute and can you please hello So, Avadesh, can you please stop annotating because the screen is getting uh, scrambled. I'm sorry, I was getting few calls, video calls, so I just uh, put on D and D. Please, thank you, thank you, thanks for understanding. Yeah. So, team, whenever 
we want to create a user account in the system, we have to come to the security console and then come to users and then click on add user account and we can able to create team. So as I told you, if you are creating a user account for any employee in the system of your client, then we have to choose worker. Then you can search for that employee and you can create. But if you are creating the user account, just user accounts, not associated with any employees like our implementation team for us, then team, we have to keep this as none. Okay. And then we have to proceed with creation. And when you creating the user account, account information, you have to keep it as active. Locked means what? I will tell in next five to 10 minutes. But when you creating an account, make sure to keep it active. Then only this account will work able team. And some advanced information you can see team. If client enables single sign-on concept, means team, multiple applications they are using. For HR system, they are using Oracle Fusion. Um, then they are using some Microsoft uh, uh, Outlook for their emails or some other tools in their organization for some other purpose. For all these, if, if they're having a common single sign-on concept team, that is a technical concept. That is not part of our discussion. But if they are enabling that in the system, if you want this account also to be enabled for that single sign-on, then you can able to check box team. If not, you can leave it. That is a different concept. We are not dealing with that. And here team, in the user information, we have to capture the details of that user. So the username category, we have default. What is this category also? You will be coming to understand in next 20 minutes team. Keep that by default, we have default option team. Leave it like that and I will tell you. So here you have to capture first name, last name, email, username, password. So I'm giving the details like this first name as Triotech and last name as Kumar. The user first name as Triotech, last name as Kumar. Now see team, I'm moving to the next tab. So the email I can provide here team, something I have, let's say Kumar at the rate Triotech or let's say anyone, any, any email I can take here. Okay. Kumar dot Oracle at the rate gmail.com. Something I'm giving team as of now. Then username team, what is the username ID? See, I logged in with HCM underscore IMPL 12. That is my e username ID. So whenever you creating the user account in the system, what is the username for that employee? And by the way, some of you might be triggering with a question. Kumar, you given first name and last name. Why automatically system taken up the combination as first name dot last name? Who told? See, Triotech dot Kumar it is taking. Who told the system to take this format? That all comes from this category team. In the Fusion application, when it comes to user accounts team, we can set up the user account rules in the system. Like what is the, what is the, username format that our client want to follow okay user account rules also we can set up team like username format should be what then password policy should be what uh, these all things we can set up that all comes in the category level that we will see in next 20 minutes so as of now please follow how to create the user account team so first name last name email username and password here see complexity i'm talking about see password at least eight characters one number my client is telling kumar in my system i want at least uh, eight characters one uppercase one lowercase two numbers three special characters even i can change that complexity rules also they all will be there in this category team that we will see anyhow now i'm giving the password here and confirm the password team confirm the password team. So like this, you can create the user account for any user manually in the system. Now creating the user account is sufficient team? No. Now the next question is to what functionalities in the system this user should have access. 
See, when I log in with my user ID, HCM underscore IMPL 12, I could able to see several functionalities in the system. If I open team and one more thing, as it is a cloud-based application, you can simultaneously works on different uh, screens team. Just keep the cursor here, click on the right side mouse button and click on duplicate. Then one more window will open towards the right. Okay. You can even work on multiple screens simultaneously team. See, when I log in with my user ID team, when I log in with my user ID team, I could able to access many functionalities in the system. I have access to my client group. I have access to this me. I have access to this procurement, help desk, product management. Many, many functionalities I could able to see access team, right? And if I go to settings and action here, I could able to see personalization, administration, troubleshooting, or if I go to navigator, all the functional areas I could able to see. Now, now the question team, whenever we creating the user account in the system, to what all functionalities this user should have access. Now the concept of role management will come into the picture. In the Fusion application team, the entire security concept is working on a one single concept called RBAC. What do you mean by RBAC team? Roles based access control. The entire security built in the Fusion system on this one single concept called RBAC, Roles Based Access Control. For every module in the system, I told you, right, in HCM Cloud application, you take functional, technical. These are the total concepts we have. For every module or every concept, Oracle delivered standard roles team. For example, you take these modules in the system. So Oracle given, in order to access core HR module, we have the roles like core HR, absence, and talent. For these three modules team, we have the roles Oracle given called human resource manager, uh, human resource specialist, then human resource analyst, like that we have the roles given team. Then for payroll management, we have the roles like payroll manager, then payroll administrator, okay? Then if you see compensation team, then we have the roles like uh, uh, compensation manager, compensation administrator, then for o OTL also, these roles are sufficient team. For Oracle Learning Cloud, we have something called Learning Specialist. Okay. Then for Recruiting Cloud, we have team Recruiting Specialist. Then Hiring Manager, couple of roles in this module team. So for every module in the system, or for every functional area in the system, Oracle standardly delivered certain roles in order to access. So team, now I'm creating a user account by name triotech.kumar. So this is the user account I'm creating in the system now. Okay. Now this triotech Kumar should able to access what functionalities so to his user account, what are the roles I assign to all that modules or the functionalities Mr. Kumar will have access team. So roles based access control. Prior to Fusion in EBS, we used to have responsibilities team. Whenever we create users in the system, we used to tag the responsibilities to give access. But replacing responsibilities in Fusion Oracle brings in the concept of roles for every module and even for every functional areas team. Oracle standardly delivers certain roles in the system. So for every user, whatever the roles that we add to his user account, 
to that modules the users or to that functionalities the user will have access to. This is the concept of RBAC. See, when you're talking about roles team, we have to talk more about the concept of roles. Like we have different types within them, like job roles, data roles, duty roles, abstract privileges, couple of differentiations we have team. And in every implementation project that you are working team for every client, there will be a lot of scope of customizing the roles as per the client requirement also. But these functionalities we will talk in the coming classes team. Now as a basic understanding of the concept, how the concept of roles working, I want everyone to understand. By default, whenever client purchase the license from Oracle, when they got the application access for every module or the functionalities in the system, Oracle delivers the standard roles. Some of them I listed team in the materials uh, PDF. Today I'm going to share in the community, the core HR or the first materials file. Module by module, I will be sharing team. Okay, first PDF I will share today. In that you, you can find what are the roles for what all modules we have in the system, right? So whenever we creating the user account, creating user account is not sufficient. We have to add the respective roles to which all functionalities that you want to give access to this person. For that matter team, whenever we creating the user account, here we have see next section roles. Click on add role, click on add role. And here you can search team, whatever the roles I'm telling. Along with this team, we have some basic roles also like employee role team. So I will try to give one basic role that is by name employee. See, I can able to search team by giving that role team at least the user can able to access his self-service in the system team. It's a basic role just to create the user account. I'm giving that and I will show you what access he is getting. See, one important point. Today, you will be getting access to the application team. Whenever you're practicing in the system, when you're searching for any role, you might be seeing multiple duplicate things here. See, this is an employee and this is also employee. And there are many things. See, employee copy employee progress us this is role name and this is role code aura o r a see aura whatever the role name that you see with aura that is oracle delivered standard one as part of the role customizations people when they're practicing team they're practicing with different different names see this is duplicate role of this one per employee or employee campaign or employee copy, employee progress US, please ignore them. These are not required team. Whenever you're practicing, whenever you're adding the roles, try to add the standard one, Aura one, okay? Let's say team, just one basic role. Click on add role membership team. See, it got added up. Let us see team. Now we're creating the user account with only one basic role employee. And let's check it out. What access this Kumar is getting in the system. That's all team, creating the user account in this way. Provide the user information, add the role, and click on save and close. The user account will be created in the system. If you want to cross verify whether the user account created or not, okay? You can check here team, in the user account area only, you can search here, let's say try out tech, okay? So this is the user account just we created. If you know his username, you can search with username. If you know his email, pass the filter email and you can pass email and you can search or last name, first name. You can keep in the filter whatever that you know about that user and you pass that and you can search team. So now I created the user account. Let us try to log in with this triotech.kumar and let's check it out team. What access he is having. Let me open incognito window. We'll, we'll have the access in another window. Okay. Now see team, I'm trying to log in into the system with that new user that what we configured just now. Now I'm logging in as triotech.kumar. This is my user ID. Okay. 
and I'm giving the password here that what I have given. See team, user ID and password I given and I'm signing in and I'm signing in. Now see team, I could able to log in into Fusion application with this new user, Triotech Kumar. Go to home button and see team, good morning, Triotech Kumar. I could able to see limited things here. See this me area because employee role we assign the basic me area will come procurement tools. Then again, under tools, where is security console others. See only limited things. And even if I go here settings and action only this, but see currently with my user login, if you see how many things I have access, see my HCM underscore IMPL, the, the user ID which I used for the login purpose initially team. How many things you have, have access in the navigator if you see also many, many things and even here. But our Triotech Kumar is not having that many things, only limited things are there. Whatever that comes with that employee role, that only he could able to access. Now let us try to add some more roles to this user and let's check it out team okay now again i'm going to tools security console anything with respective to user accounts you want to do security console users and search that user that what we configured just now triotech kumar now any updates that you want to do for existing user account any editing corrections team you can come here search the user Click on that name, then you will land upon user account detail section team, whatever the details that we configured for the employee. Here we have edit button. Click on edit so that the entire page will become editable. So if any corrections are there to his username, first name, last name, email, these things you can do. Now come to the roles team. We'll try to add some more roles. Add role. Let us try to add some roles team. Let's say human resource manager, our core HR absence, all these things we will give. So three roles you are seeing, please ignore. These are copied roles team. Whatever the role code starting with the aura, take that one only. That is Oracle delivered standard one team. So let's say I'm adding human resource manager. Next, human resource specialist. Okay. Okay. Then let's say, Payroll, one role I'm adding team, payroll administrator. Right. Then let's say compensation admin, compensation manager. I'm searching team. All are Oracle delivered team. Okay. You have to add that role to give access to those modules team. Then learning specialist also I'm adding. Learning specialist. Okay. Then recruiting specialist also I want to give. Okay, recruiting specialist. Spelling is wrong. Okay, something is there. Recruiting administrator. I'm adding that as of now. Okay, so like this team, you can add all the rules to whatever the functionalities, whatever the modules and the related functionalities you want to give access to this user. You can control based on roles. If anything that you want to restrict, you can come and you can delete the role also team. So by adding the roles and deleting the roles, the access to that user in the system will be decided. That is what the concept of R back. Whatever the roles the user have access to that functionalities, the user will be providing the access in the system. Roles based access control. Now for security console also team, under tools, when I come in order to access the security console, for this also we have a role called IT security manager role. So if this role assigned, then only the security console will be coming up under tools. If you want, I will add that also to our Triotech Kumar. See add role, IT security manager, there is one role, okay. Even that I'm adding team for our Kumar. So whatever I want, I'm improvising his access. All the module related roles I'm adding team. Now save and close. Save and close. Okay. Now see team, all the rules updated to our user, Triotech Kumar. 
see all these are the rules now let us try to log out and log in again team and check it out how the improvisation of functionalities in the system is there okay i'm giving the user id and password and then i'm trying to log in team now see team the access increased earlier only two or three is there now my client groups is coming absences goals performance payroll huh? see then benefits see team, many things and even tools if i go now security console is there for kumar also because it security manager role we assign right the functionality is got enhanced team here so this is how team in the fusion application the concept of security is working so how to create the user account i have shown you how to add the roles and how the concept of roles working in the system i have shown you whenever we go for the project implementation we will start with this topic only because for our all implementation team we require the user accounts in the same way how i have shown you for all of our team members we will create the user accounts and we will add the roles what all module access that we require team so that's how the user account creation in the system will work not only that team whenever in the system user account gets created whatever the email id that we are giving team for the user account creation the concerned person will also receive the email confirmation from the system one second team i will show you uh, i have given my email id right one email id kumar.oracle18 let me try to open that mailbox team uh, one second i'm trying to log in because uh, i have not logged in in the system with that uh, email So see team here, when I'm trying to log in, just I'm sharing back my screen. When I'm trying to create the user account for Triotech Kumar, I given these credentials, Kumar.Oracle18 and a defined, right? So see when the user account created team to that email from the system, I got a welcome option also, see? Welcome email from the system. That is my URL, D-A-B-B-F-A-Q, okay? See, see? to me kumar.oracle18 today at 7:44 am see what is that dear triotech kumar congratulations your application account successfully created please follow the link to reset the password so the user will be intimated like this they can click on the link they can reset the password and they can able to log in with his credentials team so even that goes with the employees also whenever hr hiring the employee in the system when system created the user account while hiring the employee we will capture the email id details team and the hiring screen to that email system will be sending that team so we have the concept of notifications also that we are going to see in the category level team so how to create user account and how to add the roles how the concept of roles working we have seen but if you could observe team what i told you whenever you creating user account in the system the moment you given first name and last name automatically username taking up with a combination of first name and last name let's say i am going with triotech and last name as varma see there is some combination system taking up and even password if you see there is a complexity setup what is that simple at least eight characters uh, one number like that or if not that team let me go to the user account that i created today get into him in the detail section password expiration date coming with the august 31st team 
we are in july 2nd means approximately 60 days from today password expiration date coming why these all things coming how these things coming in the system first of all the username format then password policy now password expiration coming up with 60 days we can set up all these in the system as per our client requirement we can define user account rules team we have username format to decide password policy to decide password expiration rules we can set up that all comes from this category team whenever we creating the new user account in the system there is something here called a user category. We are seeing default. So in this category level, we can define all the user account rules in the system. That I will take up in tomorrow session team. If client comes up with this type of requirement, a specific username format, password policy, how to achieve that, that rules we will see team. But as of today, I want everyone to understand how in the fusion application the concept of security is working right and then how we can create the user accounts manually and how we can add the roles in the system within this tomorrow session we will talk about the category and also uh, these all functionalities in the actions button what is lock account how to reset the password delete compare copy user and when the account automatically will become inactive in the system, these all details I will continue in tomorrow session team. So any questions as such in today's topic online people? Yes. Shiva, please. Hi, Kumar. Uh, after creation of the account, can I change the email ID? Uh, you can change. From the Multiple user times. account details, you can go, you can edit, and you can change here. So I can change the multiple times, right? You can do that. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Kumar, this is Srinath. Yeah, yeah Srinath. Yeah, uh, good morning. Uh, the, my question is like uh, here we are creating the user account uh, through manual. Like if you, if you are going to create an uh, user ID automatically, mm -hmm. the system will take up all the required information from the ESS, right? From the? ESS, like in personal details, like uh, yes. yeah, email ID, first, first name, name and last name. name. Correct. That also we are going to configure or else like how it works, Kuma? Like uh, that, we... nothing to configure. Automatic enablement, there is one feature to uh, keep SR no. Like in Core HR module, we have one setup. Something mm -hmm. called enterprise configuration. At this enterprise mm -hmm. setup, we have to enable that feature, whether automatic to be allowed in the system or not. If you keep it enabled, then that is a standard behavior in the system. Nothing else we need to define. When the higher action evoked, account will get created with the details and to sync this uh, user id uh, with the different uh, profiles do we need do we need to run any profile do we need to run any process for roles we have basically ldap process you can run for the changes to get reflect immediately huh. but uh, there, is, there are certain concurrent processes available in due course of time you will understand like in real time whenever the data migration happening from clients legacy system to fusion hmm. hdl or through spreadsheet if we loading the employee accounts and user accounts that time hmm. there are certain processes to run to synchronize the user accounts and roles and all that we will see in coming classes okay thank you kumar thank you sir. Uh, hi Kumar, this is Nagaswati. I have uh, I want to discuss uh, with uh, admin regarding the fee. Uh, can you provide me the phone number or uh, how? It... Yeah, you can reach. I think admin already shared some forms in the call. Probably, if not, I'm just dropping in the chat board. Uh, you okay. can please reach out on this. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Can you can please take a note of that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Kumar, uh, actually in one of my projects, I had done this uh, HDL load, okay? So mm -hmm. HDL load means uh, it will create employees, right? Correct. I mean, if you're uploading okay. a worker yeah. to HDL load, yes, it will create. Yes. So, well, uh, but it didn't create uh, 
my account it is automatically yeah. there is a process to run that's what i am telling i will share with you send user accounts like we have a process and the okay. scheduled process we have to run that then only user accounts will create for them because for that process again i had to create another html file no 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 that is within the system only we have something called tools work area under tools we have something called a scheduled process here all the processes we have once the hdl load completes if you want to create the user accounts for them then there is something like send user accounts this one process here this one there is one process that which we have to run in the system okay i'll tell you what happened it was an escalation from the client mm -hmm. so what happened is uh, they told us to create a, a employee uh, let's say 1000 records okay we created that and tomorrow was the go live okay so we were doing it today evening so we created the hdl file we uploaded all the employees now we had to create a user a user uh, accounts so for that mm -hmm. i created user dot dat file okay. see while you uploading the worker to hdl means user accounts file also you have to upload the process Correct. what i have shown is to send the email notifications to them but the issue was but the issue was i couldn't mm -hmm. see uh, user names created so i was very uh, eager how how to bring that so mm -hmm. i ran ldap process okay no that is Once not I the completed... case probably the, does the file loaded successfully yes yes file loaded successfully so once i ran the ldap process then mm -hmm. i could see the username created but mm -hmm. the issue was the email was sent out email was not sent out no email was sent out it mm -hmm. should have been done tomorrow it it went today itself mm -hmm. okay because the process you have run that's why it triggered with yes. the email notification yes so one learning was there that not to put email address email address should be put at the last so that you know the emails will not be triggered but one point here if you do that your username format itself is an email id then definitely you have to put email id right correct no but it was it was a user dot uh, first name dot last name uh, in that case as a kind of uh, exc i mean uh, exclusion in your case it is workable but if any client have username itself is a username uh, email id itself is a username then it's not possible. so how do we how do we tackle this See, in that case, we cannot stop. We, we can do one thing. Basically, as a workaround, you can go to user category in the transaction console. Oh, sorry, in the user security console. In the category level, you can switch off the notifications in that case. Go to user category. It's actually tomorrow's topic. That is why. Okay. You switch okay. off the notifications here in the system. Then yeah. you won't trigger any notification. Okay. And then if tomorrow I have to send the email, then? enable it and run the process of ldap okay okay thank you yeah okay. see that is how we are compromising the system in a different way to handle our requirement okay. someone someone told told me about this process but i i didn't see this in the application i didn't knew that it was a user category thank you thank you so much thank you thank you okay right team then that's all for today so uh, sorry kumar uh, i have a query yeah please yeah uh, this is related to uh, extracting the user information or the user account id is it possible to extract it as a report i mean you want to extract any report from the system something uh, from the system yeah uh, let's say like we have 1000 users how do we normally extract or download the content through bi reports or through otbi reports you have to extract the data Okay, so is it possible to extract in multiple languages? Let's say, like I need to extract in English as well as in Arabic. In that case, the system language settings are in Arabic, and your report also you have to filter it accordingly. Then it will be able to fetch that. Okay, if I set up the system language as Arabic, then the look and feel, whatever we see here, does this also change to Arabic? No, see. If i cannot say that 100% like all the employee names also will come in arabic but if you are using the insertion data when you creating the user accounts also in the arabic while you are creating the user accounts itself mm -hmm. if you are inserting in the arabic then it might be fetching up the data but okay if you are inserting with english and yes the language if you change and if you are extracting no it won't work okay yeah 
right and the look and feel the springboard whatever we see we see it in english does this can be changed to any other language that can be changed while you logging in only we have the option of language selection if okay. not you mm -hmm. can go to set preferences language and you can change from here that i am changing it to some brazilian or something now okay. we change it you can do that okay okay then yeah, yeah. Thank you. Kumar, just one more thing, but not related to, you can stop the recording. Uh, just one more thing. From this session, everyone has been like, it will be a regular, pe uh, this people only, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. So can we create a WhatsApp group so that, you know, any issues we are no. facing, we can discuss internally? Uh, no, Nasman, we cannot allow for that. There is a challenges that which we face it due to some data issues on, I mean, some security challenges, we restricted that. Earlier, we used to give three years back, but... Okay. We, we faced many challenges from the participants. Some people reported us uh, to stop that one. So that's why we have concluded that, I mean, to stop it. If anything you have, please reach out to us. We will be there to assist, but not okay. uh, allowed in groups. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, team. Let's join back tomorrow and we'll continue, please.